everyone, this is Sugantha. I just started my PhD at MIT last year in September. And in this video, I want to talk about how to prep for GRE while it's still fresh in my head. I'm not a big fan of GRE myself. And um, the reality is that a lot of the schools still require students to write GRE for their graduate school. So here we go. Uh, I'm just going to point you to some resources, which I thought were useful to me while I was preparing for GRE. Um, so first things first, uh, GRE is this long exam, which consists of three different sections, analytical writing, quantitative reasoning, and verbal reasoning. So analytical writing is two essays, which you write at the beginning of the exam. And this section is followed by five more sections. And out of these five more sections, either three will be quantitative reasoning and two will be verbal reasoning or vice versa, three verbal reasoning and two quantitative reasoning. And this is because out of these five sections, one of them is a research section. Uh, so you're only graded on four of these sections but there's really no way for you to know which one of them is the research section and so you really have to give your best um, to all the five sections. So I used a Princeton GRE textbook for preparing for my verbal reasoning. Um, it, it is a great text, textbook for you know analytical writing as well as for verbal reasoning. You have example essays that you can read, um, you have you know passages that you can practice on, and uh, you have a very good list of words um, which uh, you want to learn to enhance your vocabulary. Uh, for vocabulary specifically, I do recommend uh, Magoo's GRE flashcards from the Google Play Store. Uh, they were really useful to me. Um, you know, you can use flashcards in general to just revise the words. And, you know, once you find that there are some words which you're constantly forgetting, uh, the trick that I used in that case was just write those words down on a piece of paper and put them in a wall on your room. And that really works out because uh, every time you enter or exit the room, you just read that list of words and uh, try to recall and um, and that uh, that makes them stick in your head. Um, so that's for the... Uh, vocab and the verbal reasoning uh, section. And uh, talking about quant, I have a very quantitative background, so I do not need much practice, but um, do not use Princeton GRE for your quant prep. It's way too easy. Uh, I do recommend Manhattan GRE and Magoo's GRE uh, for prepping uh, for your um, quantitative sections. And in general, I think uh, Magoo's GRE offers an online uh, website, which is an online, basically an online subscription system, which you can subscribe for uh, for a month or for six months, depending on how much preparation time you need. Uh, but the good thing about that um, website is that uh, their system allows you to have time to practice sessions. So whether you are practicing one section at a time or you're practicing the entire test, um, you can have it be timed and you really um, it's on the computer and you really get the feel of um, you know uh, actually going for the test and doing it in a timed environment i also recommend doing a lot of practice tests um if you get, go to a library and get a bunch of GRE books, at the end of these books, you'll find uh, usually uh, some free practice tests that you can use to practice. So even if the tests are on paper, make sure that your practice sessions are always timed. Um, and especially when you're taking practice tests on computers, for example, you can buy practice tests from ETS or uh, if you've subscribed from a Goosh um, online system, then you can, uh, you know, it, it can create practice tests for you, which you can practice. So my recommendation is that when you do the practice tests, um, you know, in one full sitting, always do all the sections together. Uh, do not skip the analytical writing sections because, you know, when you do the analytical sections and also the next five sections, it really gives you confidence. It, it, it gives you some feedback as to how you feel, uh, how tired or energetic you're feeling throughout the test, whether you need, you know, extra paper, um, while doing the test, it basically gives uh, you feedback as well as confidence. And I think um, it's really important to build your stamina uh, by doing the, the whole test uh, a bunch of times before you go for the final test. Uh, so that's all I had to say. So to summarize, um, use the GRE uh, flashcards from the Google Play Store for uh, your vocabulary. Another resource for the verbal reasoning section and analytical writing section is the Princeton GRE textbook. For your math practice, use the Manhattan uh, textbook. And for timed practice sessions, use the Magoosh online uh, website. Uh, and I think subscribing for the last one month of practice is good enough. 
um, for you to get a feel of you know the the timing as well as to build your stamina for writing the entire test and last but not the least do lots of practice tests in one sitting before you go for the final test uh, good luck and don't get stressed be relaxed i'm sure it's gonna be all right